Hey, David. Let me explain how forgetful I am. Um, so, I know last week was my week to do this, and I had the whole, like, I was going to talk about lab and stuff. Um, but, and I was thinking, you know what? I've been, or, the week before, yeah, the week before I went down to York to see Nikki, and then... Two weeks before that, Nikki had been here to see me, and then she was also coming up this weekend, so I figured it would be nice to wait an extra week, and then, you know, do a nice little group video thing. However, she left yesterday. So now here I am, um, being forgetful on Monday, and feeling a little silly, but, you know, things happen, time flies, um... Yeah, she was here, and we had a good time, I guess. Not I guess, we did have a good time. Um, you know, explored the local Ithaca sites. So, I guess now that that's down the drain, I'll just go back to what I originally planned, which is just talking about Lab. And Lab is awesome, and what you said last week, two weeks ago, that... Um, Science is a lot of, you know, just the little things, counting the hairs and the plants, and people are like, this is boring, when do I get to the real science? No. No, it's not boring. Um, I've been doing a lot of, you know, making plates, waiting overnight, counting all the little cultures in the plates, gathering more data, leather, rinse, repeat. And um, I think the important thing is when you get to the end of all that monotony and you uh, you get the results, you know? So I actually, I finished all my cell counting and um, it, it looks good. I mean, we got some great standard growth curves um, for each one of our strains. And then I also finished my qPCR, which looked also fantastic. Um, we were testing against um, motility genes and also secretion genes, type well, yeah, type 6 secretion genes, which are like, they send out little antibody type things, you know. Um, or they being bacterial cells, E. coli. Uh, and also type 2 which is kind of like, don't touch me, you know? Uh, and then also stress genes and everything like that. Um, so we did a very lengthy series of qPCR tests over many weeks, and uh, I it finally actually just finished last Friday, or this past Friday, and um, I have all the graphs, I processed all the data, and it looks like what we're looking at this interaction between Klebsiella and E. coli and how some strains are stronger than others, it has um, a lot of substance behind it and actually a lot of potential towards what we can do with it. And I think it's super exciting. <laughs> um, so um, now what we're doing, we've moved on to, I'm doing um, what we're calling bioscreen tests, which um, is just pretty much mass ODs. So I need to, I'm making large, 100, not large, they're very small wells, but 100 well plates and putting them in a machine. And the machine takes a reading from each well every 15 minutes for a day. Uh, and it tells me, you know, the optical densities at each time point. And what I'm doing is I'm um, testing each strain against specific nutrients that are found in the agars that we use um, to make sure that there's no like false data which is great and then um, after that we're going to be doing more bio screens um, to test um, at what point in the cell's growth cycle are its um, toxins most active, um, and 
I don't know, it's very exciting, and it, the bulk of the research is done now. We, we have all of our qualitative data from back during the semester, and we have most, if not all, of our quantitative data. So now what we're doing, we're just covering our tracks, and um, I guess real soon, at, by the end of the summer, we'll be done, and then we'll start the writing process, and I'm going to be a very happy camper. Um, so yeah, that's the, the brief overview of where I am now, and I, I I don't mind the little things, the counting the hairs on each of the plants, because I, I know that at the end I'm going to get these big things that make it feel like the science that I'm doing is going to be worthwhile somehow, and the, the ideas for where this research is going to take us, not us, but like going to take the lab and going to take IBD research, even though it's just like a little piece, it still, you know, is, it filters into the larger network of stuff. I am really well spoken. Um, so yeah. Actually, I'd, I'd love to get more into the specifics of what I'm doing, or where we are, or where it will take me, us, the world. Um, but, yeah, only, only a short amount of time right now. Um, I hope you do go see The Decemberist. I know I have a bunch, not a bunch, I have two friends that were considering going to Cooperstown and seeing the same concert. I'm not sure if they're going to. Uh, no mode of transportation without me, but, you know, um, yeah, other than that, I hope you're having a grand time, I hope the little kids are also fantastic, and, um, yeah, I'm gonna try and not be so forgetful from now on, so, that's all I got, talk to you soon, bye.